Hey, what's up guys? It's Alan with Garage and Fanatics, and today we're checking out the Badass Hondos V2. So if you haven't checked out part one of my review, go check it out. Basically, his first generation handles, I threw them in the street and they torqued, so he hit me up. He said, hey, they might be defective. Let me send you out our new tougher design handles that we just created after seeing the review. So I think that's really cool. Uh, let's jump into the testing and see how these perform. All right, guys, so we have the 50 pounder right here and the 100 pounder right here. We're gonna throw them both on the ground, see how they perform. This is a regular stall mat, so six by four, three fourths of an inch thick. So that's what we're throwing it on. This is the 40 pounder, nothing happens. Then we got the hundo, just a little toss. And nothing happens, they both perform well. Uh, we're gonna load them up. We'll load up the skinny handle and see how it does with 150 pounds. This is gonna take a little bit, but. So that's. So it's the difference. Short handle, I mean short screw knob, long screw knob. Obviously it provides more support as it goes through the dumbbell a little bit more, especially if you're using a lot of weight like this. So each plate right here is the 12 pounder. So we've got 12, 25, uh, 12, 25, is that 30 something? Anyways, 150 pounds. <laughs> This is a big ass dumbbell. Whoa. Come check this out, Scott. <laughs> this is what a big boy looks like right here. I mean, not anyone can, can pick this up and bench it. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who could row 150, but to, to bench 150, it's pretty insane. So we're gonna do a quick dumbbell drop test. Hopefully I don't freaking break my concrete, but let's go. And yeah, no problem, it handles it good. <laughs> on, the, on the rubber mats, there's really, I mean, it handles it perfectly. There's really nothing going on. Look at that. Look, you're ruining my stall mats. Oh, it cut into it, but I mean, that's fine. That's what they're for. But yeah, it handles it perfectly. These are notably a lot tougher than the other ones. Go check out my other video to check out the last dumbbells, but uh, I'll pull up like a little a little picture, but this one's welded a lot better, and this piece is a lot thicker. Before it was just a flat plate, so I think this design is a lot better than the last one. So, kind of something interesting. Um, I'm glad they reached out to me, but I do have to say, for a dumbbell to handle torque appropriately, um, it's this is a good design, but it's it's a fixed design versus something like a barbell over here. We have the gungar. Um, all around her bar that spins that spin is is it's one thing that it relieves the torque off your wrist when you're doing Olympic lifts but it also relieves the torque off the bar when you're dropping it with a lot of weight so if you're you know creating dumbbells that are adjustable dumbbells that are meant to to carry a, a heavy load it's kind of hard to make them um, you know where they're really solid and compact and yet they have a spinning mechanism to handle that torque when they fall. Um, so that's just one thing, uh, dumbbell, adjustable dumbbell manufacturers need to keep in mind when they're designing these dumbbells that, um, you know, are, they're gonna be dropped, they're gonna be like put through tough drop tests of people benching 150 pounds and up per dumbbell. Uh, try to get this going and it'll, it'll definitely make a, a dumbbell handle that performs a lot longer, in my opinion. But these perform great, a lot better than the other ones. Really happy the owner reached out to me and sent me another set because now, now I have a set I can use for myself. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.
I mean, that, that was pretty good, nothing happened. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with these compared to the other one. Yeah, these are uh, notably a lot tougher, so that's good. It's good to see.